Hello people of the world, it is LEGO Mission X here, and today I am back with a new custom LEGO minifigure showcase. Today I am showcasing three figures from Black Adam. Been working on these for the past few weeks, really proud of how they turned out. Stick to the end so you can see more Black Adam customs in classic style, and yeah. So without further ado, let's get right into it with Black Adam. The face I used is the Ugo Warriors face from the Temple of the Crystal Skull Indiana Jones set. The cape I used is from Corvus Glaive from Infinity War. The torso that I used is the Lego Batman 2006 Black Suit Batman torso. The legs and arms are black arms and legs. The hands are two golden hands. And my personal favorite part about this figure is the golden lightning bolts insignia on the chest. I actually made the lightning bolt part as a 3D model. I got the hoodie piece from Mechabricks, exported it as an STL, and then modified it in a 3D modeling software, and added the lightning bolt, 3D printed it out in gold filament, and then painted the rest of it in black except for the gold lightning bolt part. I used the same black paint to paint over the torso. It doesn't look too clean because it didn't seal into it because I don't have sealant right now but I'm still pretty proud of how it turned out. Next up, we got Dr. Fate, and man, do I love how this figure turned out. The helmet is fully 3D printed by me and 3D modeled by me. And can I just say, wow, that 3D model took way too long to design solely because of those little points that extruded outwards. That was a long process to do. And I actually only realized today that his helmet does not have eye holes in the movie, but I don't really care because I already made the helmet. The cape is Robin's cape from 2006 Batman. The head is just a normal skeleton head, so I can have the white eyes underneath the helmet. The torso is just a blank blue torso. The arms are from this promotional set right here that I erased the printing off of. They are dual molded blue and yellow arms. And I got the blue and yellow legs from the Lego store in the make a minifigure section. The necklace piece thing is from Mecha Bricks. It's just the athlete like metal piece that I uh, printed out on a 3D printer. And the dish pieces that I use for his powers are just two by two trans blue dish pieces. And I just use two clear hand connector pieces. Now let's move on to Hawkman. And here we got Hawkman. The helmet I exported as an STL from Mecha Bricks as the official Hawkman helmet and printed out in gold filament. The torso is from the Lego minifigure series 15 golden warrior minifigure thing. The arms are just dark reddish brown arms. The hands are just dark reddish brown hands. The legs are just maroon legs and the face is a decaled face that I actually used for Bronze Tiger that I haven't showcased yet that I designed and decaled myself and painted the white in the eyes for. So yeah, I think it fits the classic style pretty well. The most interesting part of this figure is probably the wings, which I made using 3D models from Mecha Bricks of the Lego Batman 2012 glider wings, as well as the 2014 comic Falcon wings. And finally, the eagle wings that are used in many Harry Potter sets and Fantastic Beast sets that I shrunk down and put all together in that 3D modeling software. The neck attachment can actually come off. It has some sticky tack that I used to keep it on because it was a bit of a loose attachment. The neck attachment is the Lego Batman 2012 wing glider piece. It printed in gold and with the wings cut off so it could have the studs on the back. I also 3D modeled a 2x1 brick from Mecha Bricks and put it on the front and back of these wings. Finally, the mace was also 3D printed out from a Mecha Bricks file and actually it's very dangerous so don't don't like drop this on the ground if you ever print this out because the official one was in rubber but I just scaled it up a bit and then it can fit pretty nicely onto this one by three gold rod piece. So I think that works pretty nicely. Just never, never drop it because it would hurt so much. Moving on to upcoming Black Adam customs. First off, I got Giant Figure Atom Smasher, which I'm really proud of. Planning on decaling the actual face piece. This is just temporary, and I'm gonna decal some details on the torso, but I'm really proud of how this build turned out. It's I, ma I made it from scratch, and basically it's just based off of the Giant Man figure, or the Ares figure, or the whatever the other two were, from the Captain America Civil War set. I'll probably do an individual focus on this soon, hopefully, and yeah, I'm really proud of how this build turned out, though. Next up, you might be wondering, hey, where are the other two minifigures from the rest of the members of the Justice Society? Right here. They're just not done, so I need to finish those. I got Cyclone and Adam Smasher as a minifigure. Um, probably won't, that, that hair piece comes off really easily. I'll probably be decaling those soon, so stay tuned for that. And finally, to finish off the upcoming Classic Customs, here are my Justice League Dark Figures in Classic style. Really proud of how these turned out. No Swamp Thing. 3D modeled that myself. Really happy with how these turned out. And that's pretty much it for my Classic Black Adam Customs, at least for now. Make sure to click here if you want to see some other Classic Customs. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like Machine X out. And... Bye.